No, National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetungula has dismissed projections that the Finance Bill 2024 will become law. President William Ruto declined to sign the controversial bill into law on Wednesday, June 26, referring it back to members of parliament. According to Kenyan law, a bill becomes law if the president has sent to it within 14 days of the National Assembly approving it. If the president fails to assent to it within 14 days, it will automatically become law. The president can also refer it back to Parliament with recommendations for the amendment within the stipulated time. Wetangula assured Kenyans that the Finance Bill 2024 will not become law through a lapse of the 14-day period after MPs took a recess until July 23, 2024. Wetangula stated this and I quote, having been referred back to the National Assembly for recommendation on account of the President's reservations, the Finance Bill 2024 cannot become law through a mere lapse of time, end of quote. The speaker referred the memorandum to the Departmental Committee on Finance and National Planning, led by Molo MP Kimani Kuria, for consideration. He also notified MPs and the public about Ruto's memorandum, which recommended deleting all the 69 clauses in the bill to reflect the voice of Kenyans who rejected it in entirety. Wetangula said this, and I quote, the committee is expected to expeditiously commence consideration of the presidential memorandum, its reservations and recommendations, and report to the House at the next regular sitting upon its resumption. End of quote. Wetangula affirmed that MPs shall take Aruto's justification into account in their deliberations. He explained that the entire bill will be lost upon the National Assembly's approval of the President's reservations and recommendations. However, Wetangula noted that if any member wants to revive the 69 clauses, he or she will need to marshal the votes of at least two-thirds of the House. Wetangula said this in a quote, any member intending to negate the President's reservations or veto or revive any of the 69 clauses of the bill is required to marshal the votes of at least two-thirds of the members of the National Assembly, being 233 members. End of quote. This is a Cuban news.